Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the New England Racing Show, Manchester, New Hampshire, Channel 23, and also on YouTube. And I'm your host, Bill Sturgis. Well, this past Friday night was championship night at Lee Speedway. So we went there and we taped the Ironman division, which is this right here. This is their feature race. They're about two or three laps into the race. And we also taped the hobby stocks and the victory lane celebrations that went with both of them. And on this night, they crowned the track champions also. Everyone's trying super hard tonight to try to win. There was a lot of spin outs. Some people on, spun out on their own and some had help from the uh, car behind them. Now the, there's one race left at Lee and that'll be the uh, big Oktoberfest on the weekend of October 11th, 12th and 13th. And they're gonna have 14 different divisions of race cars. They'll probably have about 200, 250 cars there. And uh, the stand should be pretty packed. It's their last race of the year. And it's not a points race, obviously, because this is the last night right here for the points. But you're going to have cars from all over New England and maybe beyond racing there. And they're going to have uh, the Pro Stocks, also known as the Super Late Models, the Granite State Pro Stock Series, the Valente Modified Series, which is a great series of modif asphalt modifieds, small block supers, Northeast Midget Association, the lights and the regular ones, New England Classic Lights, Hobby Stocks, Iron Man's, they're going to have a special, I think it's 2,000 to win or 1,000 to win race. And uh, I think there's a few other divisions also, but those are the main ones. And it's a three day event. Friday is practice from three to seven. Then Saturday is gonna be the heats and some of the features, and Sunday starting at noon will be the rest of the features. So make sure you get to that. Here's your points leader, the 07, Travis Hollins. Tyler Mitchell on trying to pass him on the outside. That's for fourth place. Here's the leaders right here. Thank you. 
Loses the uh, that third place car is uh, the Pontiac Grand Prix, so it's a six cylinder division. But they put on quite a show. Zach Washburn in the lead. One to go. Wayne Osborne in second. And Shane Hor Horvath in third. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't one lap longer that lap car would have uh, messed everybody up here's your victory lane Shane Horvath, third place. Another whole car. No, why not? I figured I'm winning two different cars. I'll try to start laughing. All right, you guys are all in. For tonight, congratulations on the rest. Thank you. All right, and over here is Wayne, our second place finisher. Second place, Wayne Osborne. A good run. I mean, you guys were running nose to tail there for the last part of that race. One wrong move, and it was all over for any of you guys. Yeah, it felt like we were pretty close at a couple of points. But a few taps behind, you know, I think he was trying to help me get out there, but uh, we just couldn't, couldn't catch up. Uh, it was a great run. Yeah. And you've got some people you want to thank for uh, this fine effort, not just tonight, but throughout the whole season? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Versicon Construction, Davis Electric, Traditional Mortgage, uh, people on the side, Red, Red Cup Racing, uh, Joe Delisle, Doug Doucette. <laughs> Um, just so many people, so many people to make it happen. Uh, great to have my girls She's here on TV. every time. It's just a blast. Well, congratulations on a strong second place for us. Thank you very much. All right, and we are our way over to uh, Victory Lane, and we got some uh, very second people over here uh, celebrating a big win. The Watchdogs are going to party tonight, that's for sure. All right, Lonnie? Yeah, you betcha. All right. And, and the winner is Zach Washboard. You had these guys uh, right on your bumper, uh, particularly in the last part of the race, but you, uh, you, you hit your marks and uh, stayed right out front. You made it hard for them to try and pass. I have to thank Stuart and Scott and Scott and Scott and Eric and Donald, my dad and Curly, my mom and Doug, my family, my crew, and my girlfriend, Sam, and Mark and everyone. Yeah, for sure. And uh, now a big win here late in the season. This is uh, going to get you uh, pretty enthused, not just for next season, but for the big race that we got coming up on Oktoberfest, uh, big Super Series where you could uh, win a thousand bucks. Thank you. I have to thank Junior James. So. All right. Well, congratulations, Zach. Thank you. Very happy, and the whole family is happy. He's here in Victory Lane. Those are your first three finishers from this race. And now we're going to go to the track champion. Good job, Zach. Nice way to end the season. Zach will learn how to hold the flag when he gets there enough times. <laughs> and Pepsi was a sponsor of uh, the race night. So. And there's your track champion, Travis Hollins in the 07.
Central Giants Forest Street, Parking Park Boulevard, and Sign Line for Now, this is your second season. Yeah, this is my, actually my fall season. I race all season long. So, so the first one that you went the whole season, and that's not bad to pick up the championship. Love about your first full season ever. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. So uh, what does this mean for you? Uh, I know we got the big race on our film with us, but does the championship uh, make you feel like you want to move up or are you going to come back and defend the championship? I have no idea yet. I probably won't. I might stick with this one more year and then see what happens. Well, congratulations to you. It's a big night, the Pepsi Championship night, and uh, uh, you know, you, uh, you were the point leader coming into this thing. You had to feel pretty confident, but I know this is the moment right now where it starts to sink in. You are the 2013 American Used Auto Parts Iron Man champion. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Travis Hollins gets awesome, congratulations. Awesome, Travis. I want to mention the second place in the track championship was the young lady from Chester, New Hampshire, Ryan, Hannah the Shaw in the number 38. All so. Great job for you too, Billy Hannah. The 33, Tori Kovaleski, Jim Shorey. And here's the, the hobby set. stock race. Set. Are you set? I'm set. Here we go. Already a spin, just like the uh, Ironman on the first lap. Paul Palin. No relation to Sarah. I don't know if he had a little bit of help there. There's the 83. David McDonald. Sixty five, Jim Piazny. The 12 car, black and with green, I'm not sure who that was. He actually was DQ'd after the race for uh, illegal tires, using tire softener or whatever. Didn't pass the, uh, the uh, durometer test. Place is Pat Tangway. He's the points leader coming into this race. The uh, third row on the inside, the blue car. And there's a Super Modifieds parked on the infield.
number five of Kyle Sawyer. I think he had help. You know, you're letting off the gas in the middle of the turn and somebody else uh, is still on the gas. It's not a good situation. Of course, you shouldn't be on somebody's bumper going into the turn, halfway through the turn anyway. Now, Pat Tangway there, the uh, blue 79. He doesn't necessarily need to win the race. He just wants to finish pretty high up in one piece, avoid accidents, and he's the track champ if he can do that. Because he's had quite a few uh, wins and a lot of top fives through the year. Seems like we were just here a few months ago. Actually, it was four and a half months ago taping the uh, American Canadian tour and Governor Hassan was there throwing the green flag and watching the whole race and presenting the trophies. I say that because I read in the paper where uh, Clint Boyer was up here doing a uh, appearance and he took Governor Hassan in his car and they did some burnouts in the parking lot and the whole car filled with smoke and he stopped thinking that Governor Hassan would be scared and looked over and she was having a great time. Didn't realize she was a pretty good race car fan anyway. At uh, Star Speedway Saturday night, they had the uh, Super Modified Classic and they have a special super modified two-seater one in front of the other and they were giving uh, rides I guess you could pay to go for a ride in the afternoon Saturday afternoon at Star and the front left front wheel came off the car and they went flying into the woods so uh, passenger got quite a ride I guess they went through some bushes towed the car back and Everybody had a good time laughing about that one. So next time, if you ever go for one of those rides in these cars, I'll make sure your seatbelts are tight. Jim Piazny's going for the win. He's trying to pass on the outside. Can't quite pull it off. And there's Pat Tangway riding in fifth place right now. Third place, David McDonald in the 83.
fourth place, Dennis Dumas in the 15, the white car. He's catching the, th the three leaders. Oh, yellow. Bang. You hear the screech and everybody looks around to see where it's coming from. has a good supply of white paint to keep covering up the uh, the tire marks. And someone else spun out on the back stretch at the same time under yellow. It's pretty unusual. And that was the 08 of Chris Jacobson. And I'm sure Skip's towing was right on the scene to clean up the mess. David's Race Cars is a sponsor of this division. He has been for three years. He's uh, stationed in Derry. to go. Some good action in the uh, second pack there. Dennis Dumas has taken over third place in the uh, 15. Oh, I'm sorry, he's still in fourth. Third, and he's on the inside. And looks like he's going to take it. And that's it. And there's your track champion, Pat, Pat Tangway. And the first three cars here. The uh, car that finished first on the track was quickly DQ'd and sent out because the tires were too soft. They didn't pass the durometer test, which means that he was either soaking his tires or using something.
Hangway. I know this is big for him. And uh, thanks to Brian, Nick, Chris, to everybody. This, is, this has been a good five, five weeks, three seconds. I'm happy. I'll be back, I'll be back next year. Yeah, we're going to stay. We're going to come on slow here. The last part of the season, so you've got to be very happy with that. And you see a lot of the coverage for going forward. It does. I, uh, like I said, I missed the first half of the season with more issues. And I said, I have to do it right. I did. I'm happy. I'm going to thank Cruiser's auto body over at Lee. He painted this. And after the DQ of the uh, leader, Jim Piazny right there is the winner. Dennis Dumas, second. David McDonald, third in the 83. <laughs> Pat has a pretty varied pit crew. <laughs> All the mascots and his family. And there's Dad, the uh, walking ATM machine. So you got this championship under, under your belt, and you got to feel good. Since we come into tonight, right? Uh, everyone was more confident than I was. We have to be, it's racing, any shoe can drop, so as long as the beat is all week, like clap and pull it off. Here's the proud papa over here, Luke Hangway, who has uh, won a few of these himself here at Lee USA Speedway over the years, and I know you're uh, a big part of the inspiration for this guy, all the wins that he's had, and of course, the championship here tonight, Luke. Oh, no. Yes, this is a, it's been a big thing for us. Uh, this is our first one. I hope we got more. Uh, thanks to all my sponsors. Uh, like I said, everybody. And all the fans, thank you. David's race guy has been wonderful. Sponsored a, a, a division for squad two years in a row. Three years in a row, I'm sorry. And I want to say thank you to Pepsi. Pepsi called the sponsor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you, you you are emotional and I don't blame you. You're the proud father down here tonight. There's one happy family right there. Well deserved. Champagne started flying right after this. Here it is. <laughs> we tried to stay out of the way of that. <laughs> well, great job, Pat. Uh, and congratulations to all the other track champs. We had in the late model sportsman, uh, Michelle Fushpansky won the race, Ryan Green second, Al Biovit third. The track champ was, of course, Grant Aether. And second for the year was J.R. Burrill. And in the small block super modifieds, winning the race that night was Sparky McIver, Mo Latame second. Ryan Gath third. The track champ was Tommy Tomborello for the second year in a row and third time in like four years. So congratulations to Tommy. Second in points was Mike Nettishan. It was a real close race. It was only seven points separating them. So it was a real happy night for a lot of people and congratulations to all the winners and track champs. Now next week we're going out to the Oswego Speedway in New York State near Syracuse, the home of the Super Modifieds. They're going to have the wingless Super Modifieds from Oswego, Northeast Midget Association, and Northeast Midget Association Lights, which is what we race. So we're going to bring you a lot of the action from there. So we'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>